So then Kerry comes in and says she's bored and can she borrow a couple of dogs for an hour? Right. For what? Um, I don't know, something about thinking about getting a puppy and wanting to try it out. Here he is. It's time tomorrow, life's over. Married forever. Yep. Last Americano freedom then, isn't it? To go, please. No pressure at all. You don't think she'd do anything daft with him, do you? Oh, Kerry, um, I'd be surprised if she weren't. Right. Right, best bit. Are you all right, though? You still treating him mean to keep him keen? I'm fine, Paddy. Because, you know, I'm always up for a beer. 24-7. You know, if you need me. Right. I'll okay. Rude. Uh, can you bring that over, please, though? Can I? Are you going to threaten to hit me again? Maybe at the barn at four. No. Come on, Aaron, it's important. I've got something to tell you. Please. One unforgettable Americano. Thanks, Bob. At four, yeah? Who is it? Follow me. What do you reckon? I don't look that bad, do I? Oh, I've just missed you so much. Does this mean you're coming home? Well, I didn't expect it to be like this. I wanted to be at Robert's wedding together. As a couple. I know. Me too. Look. If you've got anything to say, tell me now. If not, we've got to put it past us and get on with putting our marriage back on track. I haven't anything to say. You sure? It's going to be a long slog getting the farm up and running. But we'll get there. You and me. Where is everyone? Doug, Diane, the Pollards, they're all supposed to be here. Well, give them a chance. We've got five minutes till half past. Free booze. Believe me, it'll be packed. Mm. Straight to voicemail. Well, I'll to myself a bit longer. Don't even want a drink. Are you mad? We'd have to pay. Hey, champagne. Oh, we couldn't afford that. Oh, no, you're all right. It's on the father of the bride. Oh, well. In that case, um, yeah, we'll have two glasses and a pint and a rum and coke chaser. Ta. 